Hello and welcome back to Desmos Geometry. Today I'm going to be constructing a pentagon. If you want to follow along with this construction, either go to desmos.com geometry or get out a pencil, a sheet of paper, a straight edge and a compass. So the first thing we need to do is get two points as usual using the point function. Next, we need to create two circles with one point as the center and the other, like that. So now we have this point here, we can draw a circle from this point to either one of these points. They don't matter because it's going to give the same circle. Now we draw a segment from this top point to this point, bottom point here so that we now get this point. We can now connect this point with these two points with the rays like this. Then we get these two points. Now we already have four points on our pentagon. This point, this point, this point, and this point. All we need is one final point. We can achieve this by drawing a circle from this point to this point, then this point to this point, and now we have this point which is going to be the last point for our pentagon. Now finally we actually have to make the pentagon by using the polygon tool. Select all of the points of the pentagon one by one, click on one of the points you've already made to finish it, and there we go. We have a pentagon. So now as usual I'm just going to hide everything that's unnecessary. We do this by selecting everything that we don't need and then pressing hide here. Okay, I need some points. There we go. And now we just have our pentagon. Now, I might as well just check it with angles, 108, that's good. Wait, 107? What? Okay, I think that's just a little bit inaccurate. Like, it, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a regular pentagon. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit inaccurate with those. Just, ooh. uh, never mind about this stuff. So, for those of you that are not yet satisfied with this 107 degrees pentagon, I have found another way of making a pentagon. This way is a lot more complicated but it does give the correct 108 degree angle so if you don't mind an approximate pentagon then just go with this I mean it, it already looks like a pentagon but if you really want the most accurate pentagon then I'll explain this method now so to create our second pentagon we'll need to first do two points except this time we need them vertical then we make just one circle from the bottom point to the top point now we need a ray from the top point to the bottom point to get this third point here we use that new point and the top point to create two circles like that then we have to connect this point to this point here with a segment then we need to draw a circle from this new point here to the center point now we connect this top point to this bottom point with a segment then we need to connect this point here to this new point here with a ray then we need to connect the center, oops, I mean a circle from this point to this point to get this point. 
to use that new point with this bottom point to create the circle. Now we have three points on our pen skull if you noticed. Up one point is this one, then we also have this point here and that point there. Now we need to connect this, these points with this top point to get the last two points. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just by dragging this one up Not too much like that so that I can get the points more clearly. So it's this point and this point will connect this point here with that point there and this point here with that point there and then we have these two new points and we have to connect them all together to create our pentagon. Just be careful that you're picking the right point, it's very easy to get mixed up with all these points. There we go, that's the new improved pentagon. Now again we're going to check all of these angles to make sure they are 108 degrees, not 107 or 109. And there, 108 degrees. Oh. So now I'm just going to zoom back out a little bit and select everything that we don't need. And there we go. That's our pentagon. Note that I left this point here unhidden, that way we can still move this pentagon around with this point and you can also clearly see the center point of this pentagon, which can be nice. So now I'm just going to be doing one final thing with this pentagon. Ta-da! Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm just going to leave that there for now. So that's it for this video, thank you for listening, hopefully you found this interesting and I'll see you in the next video.